Hello again everybody, my name is Dr. Persley and today we're going to be talking about cervical compression syndrome and that's something most people don't know about. Uh, we're going to uh, look at how that contributes to headaches. So, the first thing is cervical compression syndrome just means that your neck is being compressed by your head and it causes problems. That's really what it means. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, a dry spine and see how that uh, actually uh, correlates with that. So um, the way you can really get that is by uh, some sort of flexion, distraction, or forward and, and backward bending uh, injury. So car accidents, some people call it whiplash, um, but it can be something as simple as somebody pushed you from behind at the pool and you whipped backwards, uh, you hit something from the side and you whip sideways. Really, those are the main type of injuries. You can also cause it by repetitive trauma. So texting, watching TV with your head down, uh, working on a computer with your head forward, all those sort of things. So that's really the main part of cervical compression syndrome is when your head and neck are forward. So if you look at a spine here, the neck is supposed to have a curve in it and that's really um, to support the head. If your head and neck start to fall forward, what will happen is your head will actually look down towards the floor. And then, uh, instead of looking down towards the floor, you will look up to see where you're headed and that will compress right here on the neck. So that's cervical compression syndrome. That can cause a lot of issues. One is headaches. Headaches are caused by a lack of or change of blood supply to the head and if it affects this artery, called the vertebral artery, that will actually uh, affect the supply of, of blood flow to the head, which causes a headache. That's why headaches feel like they're pounding or really tight because this and that work together uh, and can cause a headache. So what I want you to understand is that if you have this going on, it can affect a lot of different things other than just headaches, but sinus problems, ear issues, eye issues, those type of things. It can, it's not gonna affect everyone, but it can. So what I want you to do is look around you. Who do you know that has headaches? Who do you know that's taken ibuprofen for those? Uh, pain medications, all that. Who has a forward head posture is what it's called, where your neck is really far and head is really far forward. So look around you, see who you know that has that sort of uh, issue going on. Send them this link. Send them to this website. Show, us, or show them what other options are out there. And uh, then you can go to our website, drpersley.com, and you can send me uh, questions, and I'll answer those in future video blogs. So uh, hopefully I'll, I'll talk to you soon and uh, keep this information up because there's a lot that a chiropractor can do that would really help other people around you. So look around you and see who uh, you can help and send them our way.